Meanwhile, Brazos County Commissioner's Court was set to approve a new tax increase on Tuesday in their meeting, but was unable to come to a vote. KHD's Chris Talley spoke to two of the commissioners who say they are standing up for the underserved community. That's right, Garrett. Commissioner Steve Aldridge and Russ Ford made their stance apparent Tuesday at Brazos County's Commissioner's Court meeting by physically being absent, saying there was no mistake at all. Two weeks ago at the August 23rd Commissioner's Court, the only two votes against the proposed tax rate for 2022 was Ford and Aldridge. Russ Ford, Brazos County Commissioner for Precinct 2, says while he asked for negotiations on previous occasions, Ford said he had one last legal option left. I believe with all my heart that I'm doing the right thing that I, I, I'm supporting the position of my constituents and people that were nice enough to vote for me. It, it's possible that I may have to miss several commissioners court meetings to get my point across. Steve Aldridge, commissioner of Precinct 1, also took a stand with Ford and says the increase isn't necessary and the county already has funds that won't affect taxpayers. What can be done with that money, projects-wise, if they're capital projects, they're going up. It's going to cost more. So if we have that money, don't just sit on it while it loses purchasing power. Let's go ahead and do the projects that need to be done with those dollars at, at the best value possible. This budget is set to raise more total property taxes more than last year's budget by more than $14 million, a 15.28% increase. One community member says if this increase is passed, this will only hurt taxpayers, especially those trying to get into their first homes. You are literally pouring fuel on a fire that's already lit, okay? It's going to be horrible. Meter says while he believes Ford and Aldridge have the best interest for the people, he has a heated message for those that are opposed. I promise you, if this still goes through and it's because of your vote, I promise you I will get every resource I have available to run somebody against you and put someone else in that slot, period. If the new tax rate is not passed by September 29th, it will be set to a no new revenue rate. KRHD reached out to Commissioners Colley and Barry and were unavailable for comment. As far as Aldridge and Ford, well, they say they are going to continue to be absent until a fair compromise is reached. In Bryan, Chris Talley, KRHD News.